Today, I'm going to talk to you about our radiant events. This looks like this. And also our brow boost. So two amazing products that we have that are considered derma cosmetics because they're kind of cosmetics, but they're really good for you. So they're a little bit of a combination of the two. Now for our radiant defense, this is basically a lightweight tinted, let me get the right number, a lightweight tinted moisturizer that defends against environmental aggressors. It repairs skin's moisture barrier, and it also protects from the UV rays as well as tones the skin. So I like to shake mine up really well. I'm gonna use the number three, which is sand, and mine's a little bit grody because it's just traveling with it. Um, and I'm gonna use it with our this brush, which is amazing. So it's a Rodan Fields brush, and it comes with a little case that you take off, and then this blends it perfectly into your skin. So I like to, everybody does a little bit different, but I put it on the, like the top of my hand a little bit. You don't need a lot, you just need a little bit. The brush fills right up. I just dot my hand or dot my brush right on here, and then I'm just gonna use this mirror right down here, and I just carefully go through, and you'll see that this feels so good on your skin, and it's instant coverage to reduce any kind of redness and also pores, um, and it does all this while antioxidants and peptides are neutralizing the environmental aggressors. So, I mean, if you're gonna put makeup on, why not at least put something on that's good for your skin? So, I'm gonna get a little bit on my chin. You see I had a lot of redness, that's all gone. Let me uh, get this top part up here, do a little bit up here, maybe add just a little bit more. And this is buildable, so if you decide if you're going out and you need a little bit more coverage, just put another coat on. It's not gonna hurt your skin, it's really good for your skin. So I'm gonna get a little bit, I get red above my eyes, do you guys get that? Above my eyes are always red. And then this is like cornered, kind of, so you can get like right underneath here. But what I'm gonna do underneath my eyes is um, I'm going to add in a lighter one. So that was number three. So I'm gonna do number two, which is the beige. I'm gonna shake it up first. Shake, shake, shake. I'm gonna put just a little tiny bit on my hand, which is just a little tiny bit lighter. And then I'm going to use the sponge. I just dropped this. I'm gonna use the sponge because, you know, that's what the bloggers tell you to do. I don't even really know why. Supposedly then it doesn't like move it around your skin or something. I don't know, but it works. So I'm just gonna dot a little tiny bit underneath here, under each sides of the lighter color. And I'm just gonna pat it. We do a little bit above the eye. Rub that in, get rid of any dark circles that I have from not sleeping enough or, you know, whatever else you get your dark circles from. Um, so almost done. So I'm patting, 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 and this is damp. So apparently it works better when it's damp. I don't know. I just do what the beauty bloggers tell me to do. Not really, because if I did, then I would actually wear like a full face of makeup. Cause that's pretty much it. I do brows and then, um, my mascara as well. So another thing that you could do is there's a darker one. It's really hard in this light, um, but the coverage looks really good. Like it looks way better than it did before, but of course I'm in like a really weird light, so who knows. Um, so this is the number five. This one's really dark. So if you want, if you wanna like contour your cheeks so that you look super fancy, maybe you have a big date, big night out, so that just cut out because I had a phone call, but I can't possibly do this again. I mean, these are, it's not really my favorite to go on video and do this. And also I just had to watch it back to see where it got to. And I was like, oh my God, my nose. Why do I have such a big nose? Why do I, ha I mean, you know, the list goes on. We're all like that, right? Okay, so what I was doing was the number five. It's a little bit dark, a lot darker. And I already did it, but I'm just gonna do it again to show you. Can you see how it's like kind of contoured in there? That's what, that's what the number five did. So you can get different colors and contour it. So, and you could do your, under your neck, you can do around your forehead, 
to make your forehead smaller. My friends make fun of me because they have a really big forehead. Whatever. More skin to take care of. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> um, okay, now I'm just being weird. This goes right back in here and that's it. Okay, so nice and easy. So if you're gonna put makeup on, why would you not wanna use something that's really good for your skin? So my face is moisturized. Um, can't really tell, but my skin looks much better than it did just five minutes ago. It took me two minutes to do that, probably a little bit longer because I was talking. Um, but, you know, want to protect yourself against the environmental aggressors. Don't want those aggressors in your skin. All right, the next part is the brow defining boost. So it's really small. There's four colors. I have the second color. Let me open this up for you. It's a multitasking eyebrow gel, and it has the Lash Boost technology in it so you immediately are gonna get coverage and you can go from natural looking to bold looking by just like a couple different you know, just put it on a couple times um, and it instantly adds volume and fullness to your eyebrows and then because it uses a lash boost technology it's gonna grow your eyebrows over time so I mean I don't want to get too close but you can't really see I don't think um, but right through here this is all new growth right through here and then kind of can you see that right through there and right through there and right under there. That's all new growth from using this. So I've been using it for two months. So I'm gonna put this on. Um, so I'm just gonna go light today. Uh, but what's surprising is that I have a lot of grays on my eyebrows. So can you see already like that there were some grays there that were covered. So just even that little bit. Um, so I'm just gonna put one coat on all over. Just a nice easy, maybe I'll do a little darker today. Let me get fancy. So I'll go a little bit darker. So I'm using the number two, which is the medium. And I just put it all over, nice and easy. So you can see there's a little bit of a difference between this one and this one. This one's a little bit fuller, a little bit longer, comes in a little bit more. But if I wanted to, the very tip of this is a point. So I can, oh, <laughs> I wasn't paying attention, I just went and dotted it on really dark. So it's good, it's good for you to see this because now you can see what you do. So I just put too much on because I wasn't paying attention and didn't really look in the mirror. So I just used a little Q-tip to take off that little bit of extra right there before it dries. And um, this will not go down your face as you're working out and stuff because it dries. So it's like fibers on your, on your eyebrows. So if you want to add a little bit, you can use the tip of it and just really add in so you can be a little bit more precise. So let's say right through here, I wanna make my eyebrows look a lot thicker. So I'm doing that and let me make them a little bit longer too. So it just grabs onto the little bit of hair that's there and the baby hairs that are on your skin, colors it. So. There we go. Ooh, fancy. Looks weird having just one done. I really did glop that on a little bit too much right here, but you know, again, I, I mean, I can't redo this. This is it, ladies. <laughs> All right, let's do the other side. So I'm gonna put just a thin amount. And remember today, usually I just will do this and just add a little bit. And the nice thing is that your eyebrows will stay all day too. Um, but today I'm going a little bit extra fancy because I'm doing this on video, which is crazy. So let me add a little bit more in the center here because I don't know, I guess years ago I must have really done like the overpluck thing and started them like way back. I don't know, let me, th this is growing in really well right here. I'm excited to have thicker eyebrows. I think another two months and they're gonna be exactly where I want them. So I think that's good. It's hard to see in the in the mirror. Okay, so yeah, they're definitely a little dark today. So I went a little darker than usual, um, just because, you know, wanted to be fancy on the video. And the last thing I'll show you, I'm gonna let this dry for a second. And then um, really, I don't know if I wanna be like a full on blogger, I'll show you that I also put on mascara. I use this really fancy Maybelline from like Rite Aid. And if I'm really crazy, I'll put two coats on. But right now, it's just a one coat kind of day. So there we go. So got my eyelashes on.
We do the other side. I just blink through it. I don't know. I don't really know what I'm doing with my mascara, but there. So I have my mascara on. Can you see it? I don't know. I know the light's really weird. But so, um, and of course my lashes are long from the Lash Boost. Here's some Rite Aid and Lidex. Probably a dollar. Lip gloss. I don't really even wear lip gloss anymore because as soon as you put the mask on, you know, it gets all over the place. Um, I just have a little eyebrow brush and just because I went a little dark right here, I'm just gonna brush that out a little bit because I want it to look perfect. And then I'm just gonna straighten out that top part. So I'm just brush, this is just an eyebrow brush. Just a, yeah. You know, the style is really like to brush them up and kind of keep them like that, but I like to bring them down. Okay, so. That's it. That's the Derma Cosmetics. So we had the Radiant Defense, Rodan Fields, Radiant Defense. There's 10 different colors. So you saw me use two today. And uh, then uh, the brow, the brow defining boost. Um, and that's it. Usually that takes me about two and a half, three minutes to do my makeup. But today I got super fancy for you guys. All right. So if you're interested in either of those things, let me know. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.